Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Coach Javi here. Today I'm joined by my good friend, Georgie Porgy Grinders. I usually do come out and promote the Champion Grind brand because you guys see in all of my training videos, at least all of my recent ones, I'm always wearing some Champion Grind. But I don't think I've done him enough justice because I haven't really given him a shout out or anything like that. So today we're gonna start this video by giving my friend, Georgie Porgy Grinder, a little Champion Grind shout out. So make sure you guys go get your merch, championgrind.com. And if you use my code Javi10, you do get a 10% discount. It helps Georgie and Georgie and only Georgie because I don't get a profit of the sales. Maybe I should renegotiate that into my contract next time. But anyway, if you do go and buy some Champion Grind merch, you're supporting a uh, business owned by a professional footballer and a good friend of mine, Georgie Porgie, who you guys have seen on the channel many times. Today is my day off. Today's our day off, but we decided to come out to Keyworth, get a little training session in, get a few extra touches in on our day off, something light, something not too crazy, but at the same time still putting putting in the work because you guys already know Coach Javi's coming out of retirement. That's for this one whoa that's the outro that's the outro i was ready i was ready to say bye to the people george all right so without further ado let's get straight into it Alright guys, so while we do the session, I figured it would be a good idea to just mic up Georgie, ask him a few questions, and then have him give you guys a little bit of advice, some of his uh, experience and some of his input from being a professional footballer. So that's what we're going to do instead of the background music, we're just going to have Georgie talk to you guys a little bit during the session, and then at the end we're going to go into a little shooting challenge to see who's better, Coach Javi or Georgie. Actually, stop this video right now, comment down below who you think is going to win the challenge. Let's get into it. See, you see the difference between me and you? I give you good passes. That's the difference. Look, look at this pass. Look, right, everything's on the ground. Everything's on the ground. Wow. Yep. I like you. Oh. That's you. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It is very clear, very, very clear that Georgie needs a lot of work. And I don't work miracles, I can only do so much. So, Georgie, help me help you, son. Help me help you. George, you will get there one day. Look at it. Look, that's look. a good pass. What do you mean? Your first pass is already bumpy. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> Your touch is bouncing it. I'm look. giving you a pass on the ground. Look, look. look at that. <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> look at that. I have a series. I see one good pass for you. Look. look at that. I think the biggest thing that you take away from individual training sessions, you know, when you go into a park, uh, the biggest thing is just getting touches on the ball, staying in somewhat of a shape. Uh, and, you know, everybody knows it's not the same exact thing as training with others uh, or team training or playing in games, but just getting touches on the ball, improving your technique, uh, you know, the small details that really make a big difference uh, later on when you do get back into uh, team training. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's tough for a lot of people to do on their own. Uh, just because it doesn't have the same feeling as team training, but uh, I think it's really important to stay on top of your touch. And you know, if you want to be a professional soccer player and if you want to achieve great things, maybe playing college or, or whatever your dream is, you're gonna have to do stuff on your own. And um, you know, sometimes it's just you and the ball. 
going outside and uh, working as much as you can. I would say the biggest thing for me is to, to you know to get me to this point to where I'm at right now is discipline. And a lot of times you're not gonna feel like going out training, doing stuff on your own, like individual training sessions. Um, especially here in, in Michigan, it's you know it's winter time. A lot of the time it's really cold, snow, uh, freezing outside, and you're not gonna want to do stuff on your own. So I would say going out, doing those tra training sessions, covert training, little uh, little drills like uh, we did today. Uh, you know, just improving your touch little by little and pushing yourself. You're not always going to feel motivated, but the discipline to keep going, to keep training those things, and it definitely gives you a boost once you do come back into team training and to achieving your goal. Can we get some professionals here? No. Hey, 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 what Can else? we get some professionals over here? Oh my. Unbelievable. The quality, the quality. A lot of things that, you know, a lot of people don't realize, they go behind the scenes as in trying to become a professional player or like I said, maybe your goal is to play in college, is that you have to sacrifice a lot of time with, you know, the people you love, whether it's family, friends, um, like I said, doing the, these individual training sessions, it takes up a lot of your time. And I coach high school and college, and you know the kids always say I want to become a professional player, but they don't realize that there's a lot more to it than just the hour and a half, two hours they spend on the field. Um, you know, in high school we train for about two months at a time. So what are you doing the rest of the year? What are you doing the rest of the time? If you want to achieve stuff, and if you want to achieve uh, the goal that you have, you have to put in the time, the extra time, on top of uh, you know your your normal time with the coaches and your work or maybe it's schoolwork or whatever it is. So you always have to stay self-confident, believe in yourself, no matter what people say. And you know a lot of people won't believe in you, but uh, if you're out here putting in work on your own, then that alone will give you uh, confidence to keep on going and keep pushing to achieve the goal. Can we please get some professional people over here? Okay, people, just remember, the ultimate goal, especially of like these exercises, is passing and moving, making sure that there's always some sort of movement after the pass. So if you mess up the progression that you're going in, just keep going, switch it up a little bit as long as you're passing and moving and reacting to the pass, all of that good stuff, you're okay. Hi. As you guys know, uh, I mean, I've been on Javi's channel for quite a bit now, and I've been struggling with injuries for a lot of my career. I had two surgeries uh, on my groin, sports hernias, and plenty of knee injuries, MCL, you know, had to be out for, few, for a year at a time, then I sprained it again a few, few months at a time, you know, hamstring injuries, quad injuries, just plenty of injuries overall. And, you know, as soon as you get an injury, and if it's a, long, uh, if it's a longer term type of an injury, the first few days, you're gonna feel down, you're gonna be depressed, you're not gonna feel like doing anything, you're gonna be kind of thinking about whether if, you want to just call it a day, hang up the boots and not play again. Uh, but for me personally, I've always, after the initial stage of the first few days, I always, you know, just question myself, can I come back stronger? Can I do this? Can I improve? Can I come back from this? Because people are always going to doubt you, no matter what. If you get an injury, people are always going to say, oh, you, you, you can't come back better. You can't do it. So I've never really had it in my mind to say, no, I don't want to do this anymore. It's not for me. Uh, in the end of the day, you love the game. And if 
If you want to achieve that goal, you're going to keep coming back and keep pushing no matter what. Remember, I'm always checking this way, and then I come back. Oh. Remember that? So just look at my movement. I'll start here. I'll come here. Uh, go this way. So you always have to be at the diagonal. Just believe in yourself. Just keep going. Do your best. Whatever happens, happens. If it doesn't work out, in the end of the day, you can say that you tried. And you never want to have that regret. Regret is the worst thing in the world. So uh, you don't want to be 30 years old and have that regret saying, what if? What if I tried again? What if? What if I did this? What if I did this? You never want to have that. And I'd rather try and not achieve it than uh, never to try again. So. Yeah. All right, so quick break there, quick little pause. Just want to talk a little bit about that exercise. Listen, when you come out and you do these sessions and you plan them, they don't always work the way you had them planned in your head. Sometimes you have to make adjustments and that's okay. This exercise that I just did with Georgie took us a while to figure it out because it's a pattern, but ultimately the idea is you're always moving at diagonals. It took us a while to figure out the pattern, but I think once you realize the idea or the focus of the exercise it makes it a little bit easier but there's nothing wrong with messing it up there's no, nothing wrong with changing it and making mistakes as long as you are uh, you know continuing to push yourself and continuing to try to figure it out because at the end of the day football is a mental game so i think me and georgia kind of failed at that at the beginning we were uh, a little confused and we were confusing our own selves but at the end of the day we figured it out and uh it worked out Currently it stands Georgie at 9 points out of 12 total shots. I have to go one more time. I just want to uh, 
just want to apologize in advance for what I'm about to do to Georgie. He's a professional Navi. player, signed a, pro, signed a pro contract. Navi. Navi. Calls himself the Bulgarian Bobby. Hey. I'm talking four, to the camera over here. I don't remember the four challenges I beat you and he did a post. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, it just goes to show that whenever Coach Javi does any kind Where's of the video? challenge or anything like that, he never loses. And I'm sorry, Georgie, that you're just another victim in my path to success. Where's the video? What? Look at that. Look at it. Oh. Look at it. Look. Look. Oh. No, no, he didn't go. He didn't go around the cone. He didn't go around the. What are you. No, 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 no. He didn't go around the cone. Uh, what? Yeah. Yeah? No, 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 no. Wait, wait, wait. Oh. You told me I gotta get it around the cone. Yes or no? Is it? Oh my god. Yeah, that counts. Man. Okay, this is the last one. <laughs> <laughs> what happened on that last one was the sun got in my eyes and dude the sun was okay ladies and gentlemen we're gonna let you guys decide who the real winner was oh my day georgie man. complains about the passes that i give him i thought my passes were fantastic i thought especially in that second round too i was like georgie i need to help you out i need to make <laughs> you look somewhat decent so i gave him some good passes it's not my fault he's never trained his left foot before it is what it is anyway i hit a beautiful beautiful shot and he complains, and he complains about, I didn't take it around, I don't know what his excuses were, but anyway, he complains. Georgie, Georgie, talk to that, the people, that listen, shot. make that your case, shot. go ahead, make your case, my, make your case. My case is, he said, we have to go around the cone, and I'm pretty damn sure he's gonna edit the <laughs> out of this video, and he's not gonna show how he didn't take it around the cone. Go down in the comment section, No, you know, and put who like, you think won, because they saw, they're gonna see all the footage. Every single shot that we took, they're gonna see it. Put down in the comment section who you guys think won the challenge. And second of all, why am I the only one wearing champion grind? This guy's wearing his girlfriend's college t-shirt. Unbelievable. Who runs a clothing company, gets a good chance at Listen. some exposure, social media exposure, and then comes in wearing his girlfriend's university's t-shirt. Wait, 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 I'm not gonna wait, edit, wait, wait, I'm not gonna edit this in a way that's gonna make me look better. You I'm gonna always show, do. There was 12 shots for you, 12 shots for me. Okay, I'm wait. gonna show 24 shots total. Okay, wait, I just wanna know, where are the four competitions when I beat you from a few months ago? <laughs> yeah, okay. I, see, I have see? the video. I have, the, I have those videos. Dwelling in the past. You sound like an old Liverpool fan. <laughs> he sounds like an old Listen, Liverpool fan. I have the videos of you losing and Until not Until next time, and adios, <laughs> oh, muchachos. Expose Coach Javi. Don't ever listen to Coach Javi. Uh, he's not a good guy. <laughs> he's a fraud. <laughs> he, he, only does, he, does, he only does this for show. He doesn't want to, he hates the game. Uh... <laughs>